Hello, beautiful world. Let's do this beautiful talk about speech. Let's go. Ahem, ahem. Welcome back to my channel. So, yun nga. These are the materials that you will be needing to make this beautiful crocodile stitch. You will be needing to mm hook size, needle, scissor, yard, stitch counter, stitch markers, make it two, and of course the pliers so you will not hurt your fingers. Let's do this. Let's go. So, first you're going to make a slip knot, and then after that, you're going to make a chain five, three, four. And five. Then in the first uh, chain from the hook, you're going to insert your hook there and to make a magic ring. And then chain two. Once again, chain two doesn't count as a stitch. You will be making 12 double crochet into the magic ring that you make. I am showing you the slow motion how to do it. We are going to speed it up a little bit. Just do it or until you make 12 double crochet. Now, this is the last stitch. Now, we are going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There you go. And then, keep stitch in the very first double crochet that you've made. And then, after that, you're going to do is to chain 2. Once again, chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch. And then, you're going to do is to double crochet into the same stitch. Showing you the slow mo how to do it. And then into the second stitch over there, you're going to do is double crochet increase. One double crochet and then one more double crochet into the same stitch. That's how we do our increase. You're going to do it all the way until you reach your second to the last stitch. So we've made one double crochet and this will be your last increase. As you can see, that's the joining chain. And then after that, you're going to do is to slip stitch into double crochet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then after that, you're going to do is to chain two, double crochet into the same stitch. Into the second, you're going to do your second double crochet. Into the third, you're going to do double crochet increase. You are going to do this for 12 times. See, so one, two, and increase. There you go, you're gonna do it until you reach your third to the last stitch. This is your one double crochet, second double crochet, and then you're going to do your increase. This will be your last stitch. And then after that, you're going to do is to slip stitch. Now, now, we're going to do is to chain two, and then double crochet into the same stitch. And then, into the second stitch, you're going to do one more double crochet. Into the third, you're going to do is to double crochet also. And on the fourth, you are going to do your increase. The pattern is just too easy, okay? Since I have I'll teach you how to make your double crochets and your increases. You're gonna do it all the way until you reach the end of the world. Shut up! And now the end is near. <laughs> We are going to do a three double crochet into the T stitches. One, two, three. And into the last stitch, you're going to do your double crochet increase. And then a slip stitch. That's all. One more. Tapos, tapos, tapos. Chain two. And then we are going to do four double crochet into the four stitches. And into the fifth stitch, we're going to do your double crochet increase. One, two, three, four, and then your fifth stitch would be double crochet increase. You're gonna do it for 12 times, all the way until you reach your sixth to the last stitch. So we've reached, we're going to do four double crochet into the four stitches. This is your second third and then a fourth and then after that the last stitch would be double crochet increase there you go and then after that you're going to do is to slip stitch loud and clear this, this will be your last increase chain two and then after that you're going to do 
36 double crochet into the 36 stitch it all the way around we've reached the very end of the stitch so this will be your last 36 and then slip stitch you are going to repeat this for seven rounds okay it should be longer it will be longer right right I'll see you later on when we finished our seven rounds Okay, I would like to show you this beautiful cat. <laughs> he wants to be with me all the time. Just showing you. Makulit, karabi. Ayaw, tantanan. Hindi ako mapag-video ng maganda. O, oh, haplos-haplosin natin. <laughs> and so, this is the last stitch. There. And then, of course, we're going to do the lip stitch. And then, chain one. You should have seven total rounds. Then after that, you are going to cut the yarn like that. It's up to you if you're going to make an invisible stitch or just like that. Okay, now we are going to do is to fall into half and then search for the middle, the middle stitch. There you go, and then add your stitch marker over there. And then after that, you are going to count 5 stitches to the right and 5 stitches to the left. And after that, you are going to put the stitch mark. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ganun lang. Dali -dali lang. And then, again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. And then, and then, and then, you're going to remove the stitch marker in the middle. Ayan. You have... How many? <laughs> you have 11 unworked stitches. Ayan. Now we are going to work on the sides. So we are going to do the slip knot. And after that, insert your hook together with the yarn into the side. And then you are going to do is do a 25 uh, double crochet into the 25 stitches. This will be unfinished row, okay? So this is your last double crochet and then chain 2 and then double crochet again into the 25 stitches. You're gonna do it for 14 rows. Got it? Got it! We're going to speed it up. Let's see you again later on. This is the last stitch. This will be your 25th double crochet. There you go. Just like that. It's too easy. Oh, ganyan lang. And then you'll count it. It should be 14 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then 14. Hooray! We did it. Grab both sides. And then you're going to slip stitch together chain one and then you're going to do is to do back loops slip stitch yes this is how it looks like just do back loops huh slip stitch to join so this sides will be closed this will be the heel <laughs> yes like that you're going to work on the back loops like that and then slip stitch and leave three stitches on work got it so this is your last slip stitch and then after this you are going to work on the three front loops of the three stitches there going to do is grab the three loops the front loops of the three unworked stitches and then after that you're going to do is do slip stitch tapos na mga inday mga dudu hey we're done cut the yarn
And then we win. We'll be right back. See you on our part two. Don't leave me yet. Much love from me.